What does fear feel like to you? Maybe it's butterflies fluttering in your stomach, or it might seem like cold fingers creeping up your spine. Fear can feel like a lump in your throat that makes it hard to swallow. Or it might chase thoughts round and round inside your head, refusing to stop. Enough! When you face something hard, fear can show up in a hundred different ways. It can threaten to stop you in your tracks. But you don't have to let fear be the boss of you. When fear shouts, you can't do it, stop. Take a deep breath. Listen for that still, quiet voice of God. God says, be strong and brave. Do not be afraid. Do not lose hope. I am the Lord your God. I will be with you everywhere you go. When you know that God is with you, you can keep going. You can walk straight through those fears. And when others see you choose to be brave, even when you're afraid, they can see God at work in your life. That's why courage is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud, it's all about living loud. When I wake up, when I wake up, I know that you are with me every step of the way. You're strong enough, you're strong enough to handle any fear that I face. Even things that scare me, cause they seem too big. Even all the hard things that make me want to quit. You're bigger than it all, and you're in charge of it. And I don't feel so worried when I look we get some happy, content little mountains. <laughs> That's the phone. Hello? Yes, I'll be there in a jiffy. <laughs> Pickles! <laughs> oh. Greg Lowe? Yeah? I'll be right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
Yeah. Oh. All right. I'll be there. I'll be there. Off I go. <laughs> hey. 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 Do 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 do. All right. So what are we doing here? <laughs> Gentlemen. Thank you for attending this meeting of the John Vengers Initiative. We have something very important to discuss. <laughs> Where are we going to go to lunch? Oh, that's not the foods? That's menus? Greg! Yeah, very important. Mm. I love salmonella. What do you want, Smiley? I'm John. And I'm Steven. And you're watching the show. Bee? There's a bee. What? What? Ah! No, no, what? No, no, There's a bee. No, no, no. no, no. Where are you going? Everyone no, run. guys, get back here. Get back. Get back. No, everyone. Everyone run. run. Steven, get back here. <laughs> okay. 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 So, um, obviously, we have a bee. We gotta go. In the studio. Uh, wait, will you just please calm down? Yeah. Calm down, Steven. Okay. 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 Hey, everyone. Um, Sorry about that. Oh. The whole crew just left, so we're alone, but we've got a show to do, so where were we? Um, intros. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. that's right, that's right. This is the So-and-So Show, and today, well, appropriately, we're talking about courage. Wait! Which... Do you hear that? I don't hear anything. It's buzzing. I'm sure it's just... Please don't sting me! I'm too fragile to deal with physical pain! I'm, I'm, I can't do it, John! I can't do the show! Okay? We gotta go! We have to keep going forward, Steven, okay? Listen, bees are a very important part of the ecosystem. There are a lot of bees out there, Steven, that won't sting you at all. <laughs> I assure you, Steven, the bee is more afraid of you than you are of it! <laughs> What happened? Oh no, it did was, it get you? It was gonna, I, it was, I got a face on it. But did it? No. Okay. Why can't we just go home? This is ridiculous. There's an insect out there with a knife or a butt that's coming for us. Okay, you know what, I get it. I'm, I'm freaked out too, all right? But, but, but there are people watching who want to learn about God and courage, and we have a responsibility to see this through. You know, we're like the postal service. Neither rain nor snow nor bees will keep us from delivering our jokes and japes. Fine. Okay, okay I see that. Okay. It is important. I understand. Let's just get this over with so we can get out of here with our skin unpunctured. All right. Oh, you know what? I think we should call in some backup. Oh, what'd you have in mind? It's Bible story time with Callan! Hey! Hey, Callan! Quiet! It'll hear us. Oh, right. What's going on? Hey, Callan, there's a bee in the studio. Yeah. That's terrifying. But you know, bees are actually an important, an important part of our ecosystem. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we know, but we still don't want to get stung. Well, maybe I can take your mind off the tension with a story from the Bible. That's what we were counting on. Today's story is from the book of Numbers, and we'll be talking about a couple of guys named Joshua and Caleb. Oh, Josh and Caleb? Wait, hold on. What are you doing? Well, I've been shooting a short film about Joshua and Caleb, and I just cut together a trailer. You guys want to see it? When have I ever said no to you? And would it even stop you? Never and no. Okay. Hey, let's go. When you've been promised a land. I, Moses, have been told by the Lord to send one leader of each of Israel's tribes into the land of Canaan. You have to keep your promises. Gentlemen, we need a recon on the land the Lord has given us. What kind of land is it? What kind of people live there? Are they strong? Are they weak? What types of cities do they live in? You'll need to take 40 days to scout the land and then report back. Do you think you can handle it? Two men knew they could handle it. Caleb and Joshua. 
we can handle it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just want to clarify some things. What's wrong? I, I felt like I was uh, pretty spot on so far. Yeah, I liked it. It's not bad, but Moses sent 12 men into Canaan to scout ahead. Where are all the other actors? Oh, I shot this on a shoestring budget, Kellen. I, I did the thing I always do when I can't afford another actor. Put the same actor Put in a bad wig. Put the same actor in a bad wig. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hmm. Even when things look too good to be believed. Look at the size of those grapes. It'll take both of us to lift one bunch. A little fear can still turn things wrong. The 40 days is up, and I'm so glad that everyone has returned. From everything I've heard, it sure sounds like Canaan is a truly glorious place for us to settle. <laughs> I am thankful that God has promised it to us. No, no, we can't go back there. We saw huge cities with giant walls. Everyone that lives there is too powerful for us. The Lord is just sending us into this land to be killed? Oh, we should have just died in Egypt. How am I doing so far, Callan? Pretty good. Even though the scouting party saw all the good things that Canaan could provide for them, and even though God had promised to give it to them, they were too scared to really go for it. D most of them were too scared. But when things are darkest, you have to stand up for what you believe in. We should go up and take the land. If the Lord is pleased with us, he'll lead us there. But we've got to obey him. Don't be afraid of the people in the land. The Lord is with us. Yes. Their countrymen's fear, though, was too strong. Get him! Get him! Throw rocks at him! Things were turning oh. bad. And then God showed up. It's true. God was furious at the Israelites. They weren't trusting God's plan. So Moses had to beg the Lord to forgive them. God did forgive, but there were still consequences. The people would have to wander in the desert for 40 years. And the only people who went on the scouting mission who would get to enter the land were Caleb and Joshua. They trusted the Lord and they had the courage to do what was right. Caleb, Joshua, in 40 days, already showing in a Bible near you. <laughs> That's it. Not bad, right? I don't know. I don't really care for trailers that feel like they show the entire movie. Caleb and Joshua saw the same thing all the other people on the scouting trip saw. So why did they want to go into Canaan while the others were afraid? Simple. They trusted God. Caleb and Joshua might have been afraid too, but they knew God was with them. When you're faced with a problem you're afraid of, you can trust that God is with you too. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, hey, thanks, Kellen. Do you think we're safe? Yeah. Yeah? I think so. I think I okay. feel pretty sure we're clear of uh, the... Uh, uh, okay, Steven? What? Don't freak out. The bee is on Don't me, freak it? out. I'm going to freak but out. But if you do, the bee is going to... Ah! Ah! Okay, okay, wait, 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 hold on. Hold on, you hold on. I got an idea. Me. Try to distract it. I am. Ah! Okay, guess what? Ah! Ah! That's perfect. Keep screaming and running ah! around. Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah! 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 Buzz, 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 buzz. Buzz, 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 oh, buzz. Come here. Come here. What happened? Come here. No, no, no. Look, 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 look. Am I dead? No, no. Okay. Come here. Ah! No, it's okay. It's okay. Some bees like a little white sugar dissolved in water. He, uh, our little pal here, he was just hungry. See? He's just having a little sip. Wow. Look at that. You're a regular Dr. Doolittle. Well, I can't talk to the animals, but you know what I can do? What? Reveal the question. Ah, today's question of the day is, what are people afraid of? Bees. Mm -hmm. Even though they're a very important part of the ecosystem. Very good. You know what I'm afraid of? People driving too fast. Whew. It could be something really serious, like someone you love getting sick, or it could be something that even you know is a little bit silly, like imagining an alligator lives under your bed. Oh, well, great. I wasn't afraid of that until now. Well, whatever it is, God will always be with you, so you can do what you should even when the people around you are afraid. Yeah, and as it turns out, though, sometimes the things you're afraid of end up not being that scary at all. 
Yeah, you're right, like this bee. That's right. Until next time, I'm Steven. And I'm John. And this was the So-and-So Show. And that's our little bee friend. I'm surprised we aren't scaring him with our loud voice. I know, he's very, he's probably used to people. Okay. You know how, like, I had a squirrel eat out of my hand once. You did? Mm-hmm. Well, what was he eating? Oh, my hand. Oh. Marco. Marco. Marco? 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 <laughs> You're close. You're close, Marco. Marco? Marco? You're good, B. You're good. Marco. 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 Oh, oh, I got him! Ow! Ow! <laughs> oh, man.